my newly honored friends? Your Majesty. We understand that with Crawford Staric gone, a certain secret society finds itself searching for leadership. An upstart faction seeks to enter London and seize power. Do you feel your life is in danger, ma'am? No. Rather, I fear that the people of this grand city may suffer. I call upon you to foil this traitorous plot. You can depend on us. You will meet my loyal aide at the docks for instructions. Your work begins immediately. There you go. Agents are here disguised as civilians. Get them into position for our ambush. A ship will soon arrive from Boston. Its cargo, dynamite. Its crew, Templar. What say you to greeting it with an ambush? If we must, we must. Anything I should know about? All right. Follow me. Something I need you to do. brought to me at the station, alive. Care to tell me your plans? Go to hell! Now, now. Steric may be dead and gone, but the Templar Order will never die. We will rise again, Is like a phoenix from the ashes, and bring the world to its knees. Yes, well, best of luck with that. My people are recovering their explosive cargo. You did fine work today. 
I will have a chat with our distinguished guest here to see what schemes he and his friends are brewing. Do let me know if he says anything interesting. Of course. Mr. Fleming has attempted to force a confession from your prisoner. The miscreant refuses to talk. Will you speak to the villain and learn his secrets? Leave it to me, Your Majesty. severely about the head and shoulders or can we simply Let talk Let me live. might as well the order was to load a train with explosives at Westminster it'll detonate before reaching Southwark station and kill everyone aboard you people in your damn dynamite when does it happen it's the next train it should leave at any moment Much lamented husband adored these gardens. He called them his one safe port in the midst of the mad seas of this world. We miss him dearly. But never mind all that. To business. Our Mr. Fleming has learned from the Templar prisoner that an attack is imminent. But before we could learn more, he escaped custody. He is believed to be hiding in Westminster. We capture him for us, that we might learn his secrets. He won't be free for long, ma'am. I promise. You will have to rendezvous with your fellow conspirators soon enough. Go on. Too many innocents nearby. I'll snatch away the explosives before continuing the hunt.
could be prime. <laughs> I'm going to shoot her now. <laughs> <laughs> If we can't blow up a building, we'll just have to settle for blowing up an assassin! Upstart tempers and quickly. The final group of upstarts are making their last desperate stand. They have penetrated the Houses of Parliament and plan to detonate whatever explosives they have left. Please find Mr. Fleming, so we might put an end to this once and for all. Of course not. Multiple targets inside the palace, all armed and dangerous. Making matters worse, the Prime Minister has gone missing. I need you to deal with the Templars. Target one is in a nearby corridor, surrounded by civilians. He has explosives on his person. You need to take him by surprise. If he sees you, he'll detonate his bomb. In the meantime, I'll search for the Prime Minister. Well done, but there are still more bombers about. They must be removed quickly and quietly.
childish of her. Steady, Prime Minister. I'll have you free in a moment. Not another step, assassin. You've lost, don't you see? The Houses of Parliament are rigged to explode at the last stroke of twelve. The ah. House of Parliament will be leveled. <laughs> Centuries of history are going to be blown away in a second. <laughs> Find those bombs before they go off. What's that you say? That you are Thank you, my young friend. Well, now, please come with me. You and your sibling have been summoned. honored us with your loyalty and courage. Long may we strengthen the Empire together. Your Majesty, we will always work to ensure the safety of the people. But with the greatest respect, our philosophy forbids us from assisting with the expansion of the Empire. Perhaps, ma'am, you could consider putting an end to your imperialist desires. <laughs> I understand and respect your position. Bound as you are by your creed, you will indulge me one final time and receive these gifts. Goodbye, and may God bless the noble fries. I suppose you'll be offered any more cake. <laughs> 